So in this video, we're going to be looking at some extensions for Google Chrome that may be of use for you if you're a Google Chrome user. The first extension is Facebook Fixer. This extension allows you to have many options, allows you to hide different Facebook options, bigger profile pictures and photos, easier viewing of albums, links to download videos uh, showing people's age and sign, Google Calendar integration and keyboard shortcuts. There's many more things. Another extension is the print button. You could press Ctrl and P but if you want a nice button that's in the top of your Google Chrome browser, then download this extension to easily do that. Another one is a Hotmail Checker. It'll appear in the top corner of your Google Chrome browser. This basically allows you to see new unread messages for Hotmail, if you have Hotmail, and you can read them from there. Another one is History. If you don't want to press Ctrl and H on your keyboard to bring up the history or go to options or whatever, then you can have this quick button in your Google Chrome toolbar for quick access. Another one is Go Extensions. If you want to keep track of your extensions in Google Chrome, and again you don't want to go to options and tools, this was an easy way to get to your extensions. It'll appear again in the right top hand corner as a button that looks like a jigsaw puzzle. Another one is allow right click. You'll probably get some of those web sites that don't allow you to right click for some reason and this will allow you to do that. You'll be able to right click and bring up a context menu with copy paste and all the other things like regular websites. Another one is zoom. This allows you to zoom in on a web page by a simple button and again the top right hand corner of your Google Chrome browser or you can press control and plus or control and minus or negative. This is a useful one called Chrome it later. If you see a website that you just don't want to look right now and you want to save it for later, you just click on Chrome it later and it saves it as a web page. I guess like a bookmark but a little more advanced. If you want to create a link quickly and easily from HTML or plain text, this button allows you to do it, again from the right top hand corner, and allows you to copy and paste it to your clipboard. U-Search is a YouTube plugin for Google Chrome that allows you to search videos without ever leaving your current web page. It's easy and intuitive, and pretty useful for some people. Tab Juggler is an extension that allows you to move all open tabs into a single window or move a tab to a separate window just from one click. Also sorts tabs within a window by title, URL and host name. Web to PDF Converter. This can be handy if you're at a web page and you want to convert it to a PDF document. It's free, easy to use. There is a extension or add-on for Firefox like this. I used to use it in the past and then totally forgot about it until recently with this Google Chrome extension. I highly recommend that you download it and use it. Chrome Flex is a port of Flagfox, I believe it's called, where you could see the, where the country of the website originates from. Another one is Turn Off the Lights. If you're watching a video on YouTube or something like that and you want everything to fade to dark so you can just focus the video, as if you're in a cinema, this will allow you to do it just from a simple extension shortcut button. Cool Iris is possibly one of the most well known extensions for Google Chrome, Firefox, and many other browsers. This allows you to see videos and pictures as one large wall. It's kind of cool if you like eye candy, which I do. Check it out. Facebook for Google Chrome allows you to see wall posts, comments, and many of the things straight from Google Chrome. It connects to your Facebook account and 
you'll see a message whenever there's any a new uh, comment status or anything else like that. If you use Mega Upload frequently, then Mega Upload Download Helper will essentially help you bypass having to wait and select a place where you want to download your file. I've done a video like this in the past for Firefox, but never for Google Chrome. Now you have one. Deposit Files is basically the same thing. Uh, it allows you to download or select the directory where you want to download the file before it finishes the waiting period. For whatever reason you may come to a website with loads of pages, whether it's searching for something on Google or YouTube or just a forum, and you won't want to click on the next page all the time. This takes that away. Every time you reach the bottom of your web page, it loads your other web page without having to do a thing. Seamless to endless web surfing. If you think this will be useful, then download it. If you don't, give it a try. It changes everything for you. YouTube made a change a while back that no one really liked. Someone's bought it back in Google Chrome, and that's Return YouTube Star Ratings. When you download this extension under the video that you're watching, you'll see a star rating of say 5 or 4 or even lower. If you think this will be a godsend and you'll like it, try it out. Search Preview for Google Chrome allows you to see thumbnails of websites that you search for in Google. This can be useful if you want to make sure that you're finding the right website. If you recognize it just from a picture, but you're not entirely sure about the website title or name itself. All of the extensions in this video, or links to them rather, are going to be in the underbar, description, whatever you want to call it. I hope you've enjoyed this video, hope you're going to find some of these extensions useful, and if you're watching this video but not a Google Chrome user, then what the hell are you thinking? Download Google Chrome, try it out, it'll change your life. Until next time, thank you for watching, and goodbye.